guys, welcome back to my channel. Me and my crazy wet hair welcomes you back. So for today's video, obviously, it's a graduation makeup suggestions. I actually got inspired after watching Anne Clut's, um graduation video. She said there that if she were to recreate her graduation makeup look, that would be it. I mean, the makeup look she did on her video. So that would be the same inspiration for today's video. Honestly, you guys, I hated my graduation makeup. Parang ngayon ko lang na-realize na yung babae sa salon na nag-makeup sa akin, she didn't know anything about makeup at all. So I will make bow it today and hopefully this video would help you guys need to graduate now. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup. First, of course, is you have to have a mattifying primer. And for today, I'm going to use my Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. But, 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 if you're in a budget, a good dupe for this is the Rimmel Matte Stay Matte uh, Primer. You can get it from online Instagram shops or at um, Yuma concept stores like the Poshmark Boutique, like the Showroom Co. and Style Metro dito sa, dito sa Timog Tomas Morato area. In Trinoma, pop culture, uh, parang ganun din siya, concept store and I do believe they have makeup. Yeah. So yeah, Rimmel Stay Matte Primer is a good dupe for this. So I'm going to focus the primer sa T-Zone ko. And then this is optional, you guys, but I'm going to use my Nivea um, Men Post Shave Balm. I'm just going to put it dito sa pisngi and sa noo. Just so you know, I could have like extra boost of um, staying power. So for foundation, the only foundation, affordable foundation, I could suggest that's gonna last you the whole day is the Revlon Colorstay 24-hour foundation. I do believe this is 700 pesos. It's quite... Mm, you know, pricey, you guys, if you're a budgetarian, but <laughs> this is your graduation. Slightly warming it. And then I'm going to apply it all over my face. So I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend the foundation to my skin. Just because I have the beauty blender. But I don't. <laughs> my voice. <laughs> what? But if you don't have a beauty blender, you guys, this. What the? This foundation, you guys, I just got this at Landmark at Trinoma. And it's just around 100 something something pesos. And this is also a good brush to buff the foundation to your skin. Hindi ko na siya ginagamit kaya yan kasi puro ano na siya. Powder. Nag dry na yung foundation. I gotta hurry. I'm just going to add some more of my blimey sheets. So for under eye concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal. So you can get this at department store kasi may, may sariling um, stall na. Yung LA Girl doon. It's not really called LA Girl, but um, it's called something else. But they carry LA Girl products. Guys, if you wanna up your makeup game, I highly suggest that you save up for a beauty blender because it is definitely gonna change your life. More than your boyfriend changed your life. So while waiting for my foundation to set, I'm gonna do my brows first. So I'm going to use my Fashion 21. Shout out. FS Cosmetics Call Eye Pencil. I'm going to use this to line my brows and then slowly fill it up. By the way, you guys, I use black eyeliner to fill in yung dito sa edge na to, sa outer edge. Of course, we're gonna brush him up. Now that we look like Snooki Serna again, I'm going to set my foundation. I'm going to use the uh, Shawil or Shawil Mineral Powder. If you haven't seen my um, Shawil Cosmetics makeup demo, you guys, I'm going to link it up here. So I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to set my under eye concealer. I love this powder, you guys, because like I said in my makeup demo, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it feels like it has like a slight blurring effect, as in like the camera 360 effect. So we're not gonna contour first, but I'm gonna go straight to the eyeshadows. But first I'm going to apply a teeny tiny bit amount of my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This will serve as my eyeshadow primer. Graduation is an important um, official event in your life, so you have to treat it as if you're gonna get married. So the makeup I'm going to use, or I mean I suggest that you use, should probably be the same makeup that you want to use when you get married someday. Because the official photos and the photos from your phone, it's gonna be immortalized. So you know, you want to have that classy look as you can. Like 50 years old, when you go back to your photos, you're gonna be like, oh, 
that makeup is still nice nowadays. That's why you gotta look like fully made up but not too much to the point that you look like you're gonna go to the Palace Super Club instead of the PICC Plenary Hall. Okay, so one palette I could highly recommend you guys is from LA Colors. You can get this, uh, I got this uh, no, at so a department store ng Landmark. Yeah, merong sariling stall dun yung um, LA Colors. Not LA Girl, but LA Colors. All the colors are matte and I can say neutral. So first up, I'm going to get this flesh color right here. And then I'm going to put that all over my lid. That will serve as transition color. Next I'm going to do is get this color right here. It's just a matte mauve color. And I'm going to apply that to outer V using an eyeshadow blender, blender blending brush. <laughs> outer V up to the crease. And then I'm going to take a really dark brown eyeshadow. This is Coffee Arabica from FS Cosmetics. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to apply it near my lash area. A little bit to outer V so that we can have dimension in our eyes. Then I'm going to get the blending brush we used, Ganina. And we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Like I always say, the key to success is blend, blend, blend. So I'm just adding and blending and adding and blending until I get the dimension or the depth that I want. And then we're also going to blend a little bit to crease. Then for the bottom, taking the uh, mauve color again, using the same pencil brush, I'm going to apply some at the bottom. Taking my sweet time and blending it. Okay, now I have two mottos, you guys. Blend, 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 and take your sweet time. Well, let's just combine it. Take your sweet time blending. By the way, make sure to blend your brow bone. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a medium wing line. And if you're going to do eyeliner, you guys, make sure that you're going to use waterproof. Because <gasps> what if you're going to cry? So I'm just going to use my Shawel waterproof liner. Honestly, I want to use my Nichido, but it's not waterproof and I can't find it. I'm just going to use this to outline my wing line. And then I'm going to use my FS Cosmetics waterproof liner to fill in the rest of it. After the eyeliner, I'm going to apply my falsies. And for today, I'm going to use the DM16 from Red Cherry Lashes. This is totally optional, you guys. By the way, I highly suggest that if you're gonna get lashes, go get yung parang ganito, yung medyo mas mahaba, yung um, outer edge. Why you shipping lashes, my is the But for a more natural look, um, yung mga Taiwan lashes, these kind of lashes are good enough uh, bilang pantawid gutom dun sa lash mo. If, you know, you want a more natural, subtle lashes. <gasps> but for me, I want some bala boom lashes, so... While waiting for my lashes to dry, we're gonna proceed with contouring our face. And of course, I'm using my shower contour powder. <laughs> and we're gonna contour our nose. For blush, I'm going to use the FS Powder Blush. It's actually another mauve shade. And I'm going to use my blush brush. What? <laughs> I'm going to use my blush brush to soften up your um, contour while applying the blush so mukhang mas hard yung contour ko dito because i have my balcony lighting over here so dito walang masyadong lighting so of course i'm gonna tight line tight lining is very important to solidify <laughs> solidify <laughs> it's like a finishing touch to every eye makeup but I'm not going to put any black eyeliner at the bottom because that's good already. And then I'm going to apply mascara so my real lash will blend to the falsies. For the lips, again, it's always your choice, you guys. But for me, um, I'm going to stick with the mauve, the brown nudes, and alike. 
if you want to use a pink lipstick, I suggest that you stick with the mauve type of pink. Like for example, this one. This is the uh, Berry Recognized from Wet n Wild. It's pink, but it's not like Nicki Minaj pink, if you know what I mean. Try to make it muted and subtle. For the graduation ceremony, I highly recommend that you use liquid lipsticks so your lips will, your lip color will last the entire program. But for the after the ceremony, if you're gonna eat or if you're gonna go party and have drinks, I suggest that you use lipstick. I know that sounds like baliktad, but this is my preference, you guys. If I'm gonna go out and if I'm gonna drink, if I use liquid lipstick, I'm pretty sure your inner corners is mabapawasan and I look cool and it's gonna look weird. So for situations like that, like eating out or drinking out, partying, I wanna use lipstick because it's easier to pucker, to blend out again, and it's easier to reapply, or it's easier to take out and reapply. But liquid lipstick, I said, some liquid lipsticks, um, they they tend to feel weird. They tend to feel um, tight and dry if you reapply, or it's more laborious to take it out because you need like an oil. But you know, again, it's your choice. So for today's look, hmm, I'm torn between Wet and Wild. Um, give me mocha and the NYX lingerie in the shade Exotic. By the way, you guys, for lipstick, I highly suggest the FS Cosmetics lipstick, um, especially the twig, especially the twig, especially the shade matte twig. And I also suggest the uh, Maybelline powder mattes because it has color but very muted and subtle. Or you can also use the original uh, Maybelline creamy matte, especially the shade Touch of Spice. Decision has been made and we're gonna go for the NYX lingerie. <laughs> I can't believe I almost forgot the highlighter. So for the highlighter, I'm going to use my City Color Intense Exposure Highlighting Powder. I think this is um, good enough for the budgetarians. <laughs> so I'm just using my finger to apply it. Why am I talking like this? So I'm vlogging style right now so you can have like an in-depth look on the makeup that I did. And voila! I am back! And my bottom earrings! Honestly you guys, my hair is still wet. Forgive me if I'm gonna pull it back. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Another suggestion, you guys, it's good to wear um, jewelries like this. Yung mga hanggan dito lang. Wag na kayo maghika ng mga hanggan dito, makakaloka. And I'm wearing brown contact lenses from Aki Online Shop. Oh my god, by the way, that's another thing, you guys. Ito, do whatever makeup you want, but just please, please, please do not wear blue or green or gray contact lenses on your graduation. I mean, seriously, you guys, those contact lenses are for different occasions, like party, if you're doing a full glam makeup on YouTube, or even if you wanna go to the mall and wear contact lenses with those colors, that's okay, that's fine. But for formal occasions, like graduation, brown contact lenses, that's it. For us Filipinas, at least, either you wear your natural eye color or wear brown contact lenses like what I'm wearing right now. Yun yun, sagad na yun, tapat na po yun. Again, your official photos are gonna get immortalized. So as much as possible, you have to look classy or classic. So yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching you guys. And again, congratulations. Yes, yes. You did it. It's the end of a chapter of your life, but a start of a new one. Because you're gonna work, bitch. Again, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!